Hello, hello, and welcome to Pursuing the Passion. What a journey it's been. Uh, four months of full-time streaming. That's Monday through Friday. I think I averaged uh, something like an average of 60 hours a week streaming. Uh, most of that was Monday through Friday. I did some weekend streams. Uh, I had some long streams, no 24 hour streams. Uh, we adjusted our schedule. We did some very like late evening streams into the the late hours of the a.m. and and it's been fun. It's been awesome. We're not gonna stop, uh, but I won't be able to to continue to pursue you know the passion you know full time you know 60 70 hours a week. Um, going into it for four months was definitely something fun, something I've enjoyed. And if I could keep doing it and make a living, absolutely I would continue. Uh, that's not the case. I'll have to have to get that traditional job, get a work for the man, make a paycheck, but we're st still gonna stream. It's just gonna be, you know, after hours from our from our nine to five. But what I wanted to do now is, is just share, you know, wait, what, what did this four months look like? What did what did we accomplish? And and we have some some metrics that we can look at, um, both by by stream hash it, uh, and and Twitch. So so let's get into it. I'm excited. Uh, so stream hash it is is a website I've I've used before. I've done on like reviewing the week ofs, and usually you know it's just that previous week um, but diving into their analytics we can see you know a, a broader detail you know months um, so when I when I quit my job in September I was originally looking for you know an, another similar job uh, and I just uh, you know I just thought you know I, I need to do something different um, I, I, I quit for a reason uh, so I decided let's try streaming and see where it goes and, and that was in September so I got this filtered from September to January. Um, it was near the end of September. I started streaming um, all the way up until yesterday. I'll stream today, but we don't have any metrics today. So why why include today? Um, so let's see. They you can break this down by doing the full thing, but when you go like this, it's really hard to to see some of the changes. I mean, you can kind of see some of them. Um, we can see you know it's very almost all these little bubbles are pretty close to zero. And then we go all the way to you know the most recent couple of weeks, and we can see we we have we're definitely further away from zero. So that's that's good stuff. Um, but it's still can't really read that read that too much over such a long period. So we can shrink this up a little. How beautiful that is! I mean, maybe like right there looks good. So this is the the very very first few weeks that that we started streaming. Um, I believe I was streaming. I think Heroes of the Storm pretty heavily when I first started. Uh, it, it was definitely a game where I thought, hey, you know, I like Blizzard games, I like Heroes of the Storm, let's try and, and grow a stream around that. So I, I did that for maybe maybe two months as, as we'll go into this. And then I, um, just, I, I just wasn't having fun with it and we switched to, to Elder Scrolls eventually, which we've had a lot of fun and success with. But um, Regardless, just just streaming alone, we can see you know our numbers. They're they're pretty low. Almost all of these ones uh, are are me in terms of like I ha me having my stream in the background, making sure that the stream looks good um, and that there's there's no issues. Um, so any so all these ones are essentially zero. So we can subtract one from from everything. Um, and if we do that, it it's definitely uh, pretty low. And it but we we see we do get. Um, some follows and views and, and what really really helps in the beginning and what I recommend for anyone is is get your friends and your family to, to help you out tune in every little bit helps um, just by, by the nature of someone tuning in is gonna put you higher on the rankings which usually means it'll be easier for for someone to, to find you uh, I think you'd be surprised I mean I haven't done any studies or anything but uh, people are definitely more willing to tune into someone that has, you know, two, three, or four viewers than someone who has one or zero. It helps. It does. Um, but, you know, as, as we move across, we can see this, this number starts to grow from one to, excuse me, to three. And we start to, start to gain uh, traction. This is just streaming more and more um, 
and we can see we, we do start to rise. I mean, we have, we have our, our ups and our downs. Um, the, the graph shrinks here because we, we get a spike. Uh, I believe this was the first time I got hosted by, by Lefty Lucy, which was, was pretty amazing. Um, that definitely was, was a booster and help because there are certainly people from his channel that, that, st that stuck around and and continue to follow today so that so that's awesome it, it was something that you know a chance that you can't really um you know rely on on things like that to happen um but if it does happen you know take advantage so uh so our, our graph does get a little skewed but we can still see still see these numbers growing uh we got another spike i, I think that might have been lefty lucy again <laughs> which which was amazing so that helped um, and going through, I mean, you know, eight, seven, this is much higher than the, the ones and twos we had at the very beginning. Um, and it's, I, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Um, it's, uh, to, to see where you grow, right? Cause it's always tough to say, you know, did, did I make a difference? Did I do what I wanted to do? Um, you know, eight, eight regular viewers, you know, three new viewers. So that's people that, that tuned in for the first time, had a max of 19. Um, that's all stuff that, you know, I think if you ask any Twitch streamer that's starting out, I mean, having, having numbers like that, uh, feels absolutely amazing. Um, and you know, as, as you grow, you know, you look at some of the, the big all-stars that have thousands of, of viewers and followers, but you know, those, those are the all-stars. Um, I, I feel pretty happy when there's a few people in the channel and they're they're talking to me and they're enjoying the gameplay. So we can see we, we definitely had we had we had, we had some growth, and and we'll continue to you know stream it as as I as I mentioned. It's just we won't be doing it you know eight nine hours a day. It'll probably be closer to to two hours a day or something like that. You know streaming after work. When we move to the games we streamed. Um, I think, like I mentioned, we started out with, with Heroes of the Storm. So we did, you know, a little bit of StarCraft, Heroes of the Storm. So we did lots and lots and hours of that. And then, let's see, I think this is around, uh, yep, yeah, November. This is right when StarCraft II came out. So I started streaming a lot of, a lot of StarCraft, mixing up the, the Heroes of the Storm. But, um, when, when I was streaming StarCraft, I didn't feel like I was very engaging uh starcraft is a game where it, it requires a lot of attention to to control everything you know the rts game that it is so when i was doing that i was like there's there's like it was almost impossible for me to to play the game and uh pay attention to chat so eventually i had to I had to drop starcraft uh streamed a little bit of overwatch um i don't think my computer could could handle streaming and overwatch um stream some dead space that was uh with the best friend when we were trying to to move through that and then here we can see it's right around december 1st or december 1st started streaming uh the elder scrolls and that's when i really noticed um one i was, I was having fun um i was able to pay attention to chat for people that were coming in and that's when i was really like um you know, growing a community with with people who played Elder Scrolls, uh, which which was awesome. It was like I found I found a little niche where where I could start growing and and enjoying you know streaming as a whole with with growing that community, interacting with people and, and playing the game. Stream some Shadow Complex. That was the, that was a free game, little platform three D platformer. Um, but pretty much, it's it's been almost all Elder Scrolls. Uh, the last two months or so where we got Skyrim I think the servers were down for ESO so we played a little little classic Skyrim and then and then more and more uh, Elder Elder Scrolls Online what was this one Diablo 3 for Souls another weekend with friends and then just more more uh, more ESO this uh, indie game stand was a game actually I was playing yesterday uh, called Plantera I got a free game from this website called uh, Keymailer where essentially you give them like all your social media info, they analyze it, and then, um, you know, games want to get publicity and whatnot. So I was like, hey, have this free game, play it on stream, do something about it. Um, it, was a, it was a very uh, simple, non-challenging game. 
<laughs> to say the least. Um, anyways, keep moving on. Um, average viewers per hour. So it's tough because I don't think this is uh, an Eastern time zone because most of my streams were starting around uh, around noon or so, like 12 p.m., 1 p.m. Eastern. So it's really hard to tell like what was going on. I think for the most part, I think my stream is probably starting in around this area. And then, you know, going into to the midnight or 1 a.m. So I think this is where we saw, you know, this this rise and then this dip is, you know, where I cut the stream. And and it, it was a trend where I thought maybe I should should move my schedule. I, I moved it for one week, which may or may not have been, you know, in a, a long enough period to, you know, really capitalize on, on the trend I was seeing. But it's, it's something to, to definitely pay attention to in terms of, you know, where are you getting your viewers at? You know, what hours are they tuning in? Um, and if it's something you are really trying to, to capitalize on, um, then, then you may have to shift your schedule accordingly. I know uh, one, one of the, the biggest streamers out there, Kriparian, like his streams start at, at 9 p.m. Uh, at night and goes until, you know, like 5 or 6 in the morning or so because um, he knows that's that's when his, his audience is, is most active and uh, tuning in or that's that's the biggest uh, time frame where you can get the most viewers and when you're when you're trying to maximize that kind of stuff that those are things you you have to pay attention to I, I, I did it for for one week um, didn't really notice a, a huge impact as well as it just really messed my my personal schedule up with you know just just working out eating sleeping and all that so uh, you know if, you, if you're all in go all in <laughs> Uh, new subscribers and followers. So, so this one is is kind of tough to read in terms of just seeing what we're getting. I think if you we don't have any new subscribers, so that's 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 for partnered. So we're just looking strictly at at the blue line for followers. So we got ones and twos, and we can see it's it's relatively I think spaced out as we as we go through and as we uh, start to gain traction, we start to get multiple followers a day starts to get more per day at least we hope so I mean we, we keep going keep going keep going so so that's good stuff um, I think it's kind of hard to tell on this graph with how often we're getting getting viewers per session and how often but uh, we have the twitch one which will make that a little easier to see donations th th this was interesting because the ultimate goal, right, was, you know, make make it sustainable, make streaming sustainable, and we didn't quite hit that goal in terms of making it sustainable. But to me, success was if I could turn on the stream and people tuned in to watch, that was a success. Um, and people people do tune in. I've had regular viewers come in, uh, had new viewers come in, um, and that that to me is awesome. It tells me like, hey, you know. I'm a cool guy. People, you know, like my personality. They like seeing me play. They, um, they interact with other people in the channel. All that's, all that's good. So the donations were something where, you know, hey, if I think that's a, a big income where, or a big place where people can get income from. But at the same time, we're still a small channel. And I've read um, from uh, Daniel Weed and his, his Live Space blog uh, when, when you when you are so so young and small donations can be an area where if someone someone you know likes your your content they throw you five bucks and then they're done they feel like hey you've entertained me here's five bucks you know we're good thanks thanks for entertaining me keep entertaining me forever <laughs> um which uh isn't isn't uh that that's just you know a transaction um and he was mentioning you know you've been Get, get rid of that donation. Um, have people pay you back by, by talking about you, tweeting about you, uh, sharing your Twitch, uh, anything anything along those nature because that's that's what's really gonna help you grow and wait until you're wait until you're big enough and then capitalize on um, any potential income and whatnot. So eventually, I think just as the past week or so I got rid of it and I just put a you know, hey, sharing sharing is caring. That's that's what's really going to help us in the end in terms of what we want to do. But 
uh, three bucks. This was December 22nd, so we started in September. So that was essentially three months into into streaming. We made made our first uh, three dollars, <laughs> which was pretty awesome. I think I I did a, a previous video on that, which was which was pretty amazing because I was not expecting uh, any kind of money. So so that was pretty awesome. And we had a we had a few more donations. Things will keep going. Uh, with a fifteen dollar, thirteen dollar. This was like right at the beginning of January. So. It was like a huge like whoa what are you what are you guys doing and like i mean and that's you know if the, if that trend kept going and i was getting dollars per day per day uh you know maybe this would go on a little longer but uh but unfortunately not not the case someday uh we got a few more what was this seven seven dollars one dollar one dollar um so so certainly it, you know there's certain people we are striking a chord with and they're willing to say, hey, here's, here's a few bucks, keep doing it. Moving on to the interaction index. So like I mentioned, um, Elder Scrolls Online was definitely one where we were able to, um, to really capitalize on. And uh, I'm not sure how they do this, but there's essentially you know, how much chatter is going on during the game. Um, Elder Skyrim is there, but I streamed very little, and I think I had one person tune in, so I guess that's why that's very high. Heroes of the Storm, I streamed a lot of Heroes of the Storm, so we got a lot of action on that. And then when we compare that to Elder Scrolls, it's a bit smaller, but we've we've streamed a lot more hours of, of Elder Scrolls than um, any other game that we've played. And then here's just a, another chart that breaks down, um, you know, of of all the hours we've played, here's here's all the games and how much time they took out. So, so in the in the four months we streamed, we had 498 hours of Elder Scrolls Online, 146 of Heroes, 98 of StarCraft II, 13.6 for Shadow Complex, and and minuscule hours for for the rest. So that was that was a that was a lot of streaming, um, and one of the the biggest things I guess. You know that's that's been the biggest eye opener I'm proud of. So now I'm on, on the Twitch dashboard chats. Um, so so I wanted to highlight August 2015 just to show you. Know, I wasn't I wasn't streaming in August. Um, when we go to September, we got we had seven seven new followers. I think most of those were, were friends and family. Like hey guys, I'm I'm streaming. <laughs> Tune in. Give me a follow. Give me some help. Um, and and that was that's that's where those came from. Uh, moving into October, very similar month, another seven. I think most of these were, were probably new viewers, less less family and friends. But what's really exciting is when we get into November, 14. So we essentially packed the past two months into one month with, with 14 new followers. So that, that you know, it was awesome, especially, I think most of those, you know, those felt earned, you know, being a, a small time streamer, people just popping in saying, hey, I'm glad I checked this guy out, give him a follow, come back. Moving into uh, October, we had another seven, or excuse me, went backwards, November, November was the 14th, December comes next. Uh, December was monstrous, uh, 98 uh, followers. Um, a, a big chunk of those came from being hosted from from Lefty Lucy, but but still, you know, some people may have may have followed and never came back, but there are certainly people that that followed and and still come back today. Uh, but December was was a monstrous month in terms of uh, growth, going from the seven fourteen ninety eight like <laughs> uh, it was awesome. It, it was definitely something that said okay, you know this feels right you know streaming feels good um, it's certainly possible to grow and then this past month January 69 <laughs> not not as great as as a 98 but I, th I think we got hosted once by uh, Jack Daniel ESL who's who's another big streamer out there um, so that certainly helped um, but most of this was was me is you know other than that, that one small time host, we weren't hosted by Lefty Lucy, who's you know one of the top streamers. That this was all me, uh, that that earned those follows. That that people came in 
and they said, I like, I like this channel. I'm going to follow and, and tune in again. So that there's certainly, you know, we're growing, we're growing. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, I think that the growth might go, a, you know, significantly smaller now that we're not going to be able to stream 60, 70 hours per week. It's going to be closer to maybe 10 hours per week, uh, something, something along those lines. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be a quality two hours. You know, I'll, I'll be comfortable. I won't be worrying about the stream in terms of, you know, oh, I have to, I have to pay attention to, to every second of chat or I have to do the absolute best stream. It's, you know, it'll be a lot more relaxed and comfortable. You know, I'll have the nine to five. I know I'll be getting cut a paycheck, hopefully. Huh? <laughs> um, but, but we're still going to do it. Um, we're growing. We, we, we had fun. People enjoy our stream. And, and we'll keep doing it. Maybe, maybe sometime down the road, we'll have to say, hey, we're doing, we're doing a little too well uh, with our stream and maybe we can uh, reverse the table and quit the job again, but this time we're gonna go full-time streaming. People have done it, it's possible for us. But yeah, um, that, that's everything, that's all the metrics, that's the last four months condensed into all these numbers. I've had fun, I'm gonna keep doing it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to, to answer, but it's certainly possible to, to go from, from nothing to something. Uh, you just, you just got to put in the work. And as far as, as the future of these vlogs, I think I'll probably go less than daily. Uh, next, this, this, today's my last day full-time streaming. Next week, I'm going to hop back on to the, to the job search uh, wagon, and uh, we'll see what happens. But I'll, I'll keep I'll keep I'll keep this uh, updated. I'm thinking maybe two or three times a week I'll do the vlogs instead of every day, um, just to to give a bit more beef into to what's going on with the passion. So you guys have a good weekend. See you next week.